Hollywood Squares, show N39, tape September 12, 72, air TBA. One of these stars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $2,700. Which star is it? You, O'Brien. Amanda Blake. Joey Bishop. Doc Severinsen. Wally Cox. Karen Valentine. Harvey Corbin. Sandra D. Or Paul Lynn, all in the Hollywood Squares. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Thank you, Kenny Williams. A very good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Good evening, How are you, How are you Peter? We have a bunch of the pretty people with us this evening. Hugh O'Brien. Hello, Peter. Star of Search. Yeah, having NBC. a lot of fun searching around, too. Yeah. Amanda Blake is back with us, and that's always nice. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Uh, you still have a show on television, don't you? I think so. Yeah, last time we looked. <laughs> <laughs> and our dear friend Joey Bishop. Doc Severinsen, we haven't seen you, and it's a lovely, uh, nice thing that you're going to be with us this evening. You think it's easy? <laughs> <laughs> and we have Karen, Paul, Sandra D, Harvey Corman from The Carol Burnett Show. And our Miss Circle, we welcome Martha Palmer. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares, Martha Palmer. <laughs> Martha uh, comes to us from uh, Topeka, Kansas. She's been married for 37 years. They have two children, four grandchildren. She enjoys life completely. Well, good for you, and good luck this evening. Our Mr. X is Don Hogan. Don, welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Mr. Hogan is a basketball coach. He is married to a speech therapist, two daughters. The family enjoys camping, outdoor sports. Good for you. The same amount of luck. We'll have a commercial word or two. We'll return and play a secret square game worth over $2,700 after this. Object for the players is to get uh, three stars in a row, either a cross up and down a diagonally. Every game worth $250. And the person who wins the most cash tonight will win a brand new car. In addition, in our first two games, they play a secret square. And in the first game, we have what, sir? And the circle starts the secret square game, which includes the caloric self-cleaning gas range. Even upper oven panels can be cleaned automatically by putting them in the lower oven. Clean, modern design, food tastes distinctly better. Save hours of work with your caloric gas range. And rice aroni, the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. Rice aroni, the one you saute and simmer to perfection. Try, try rice aroni, the San Francisco tree. <laughs> and from Levitt's Warehouse Showroom, this magnificent Bernhardt French seven-piece dining room group. You'll love it at Levitt's, one of the world's largest sellers of famous brand furniture, coast to coast. And Snickers. Snickers Munch Peanut Brittle, Great Peanut Brittle Candy, A Fistful of Peanuts and Munchy Golden Candy, Snickers so Munch Peanut Brittle, <laughs> and Maslin's Inner Circle Carpeting in a subtle swirling pattern made of Cumulop Nylon from Monsanto. Good looks that will last for years. Maslin makes all carpets that way. Plus, a $1,000 gift certificate from the famous Spiegel Catalog Company. Over 50,000 quality items providing value selection and economy. Spiegel Chicago 60609. Let us show the home audience the secret square. As you know, the stars are briefed before the show to help them with the bluffs. Martha, I understand you want the toss backstage. Right. Uh, good luck, dear. Pick a star. Wally Cox. True or false, my friend. While a healthy dog's nose should feel cool to the touch, a healthy cat's nose should be warm. Um, in in their in their uh, chosen roles as more or less opposites in this world of ours, mm. that is true. He said it's true. I'll agree. No, it's false. <laughs> The cats should feel cool also. And what did you say, Martha? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I thought I heard a darn there. We put an X there. A darn, it's your turn. Harvey Corman. What would a Spaniard keep in his bota? B-O-T-A in his bota? His B-O-T-A? Mm hmm Ah, yes, he would keep his coins. Coins. I disagree. <laughs> it's uh-uh. No, it's wine. A bota is a wine skin, in fact, Harvey. <laughs> one for one. <laughs> Martha, <laughs> go right ahead. Karen Valentine, please. Karen Valentine with her pretty flowers up there. Oh. Yes. See, Charlie Smith of Bartow, Florida, made the news recently because he's number one on a list being kept by the federal government. What list? Well, I read this, and it's because he's number one. I mean, he even wrote the paper, a letter, when it was announced. He's the number one wanted crim criminal. And he even wrote a letter saying, thank you for making me number one, finally. And they still can't find him. Martha? I disagree. Good. It's a lovely story, though. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> uh, a list of Americans over 100. I read the article. I really. Charlie is the old, uh, eldest or eldest. He's 130 years of age and he drinks and smokes and lives it up. I read the story with a circle and Don a chip in. Secret Square Game. Sandra D. Sandra. One of the following actors posed for a nude centerfold in Cosmopolitan magazine, but was rejected. Oh, I'm... Now, was it Hugh O'Brien, James Coburn, <laughs> or Doc Severinsen? Oh, that's a terrible thing to do to me. Hugh O'Brien, Doc Severinsen, or and... James Coburn was rejected. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hugh. I think it was Hugh O'Brien. Hugh O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I disagree. No, it was James, uh, James Co something about his small hands. I don't know why. Well, we have an X there. And Martha, it's your turn. <laughs> Go right ahead, Martha. All right, Hugh O'Brien, please. Cue the block here. Uh, can crossing your knees cause varicose veins? I beg your pardon. I <laughs> <laughs> can crossing your knees cause varicose veins? Well, I, I never cross mine. I'm crossing your knees. Yes. In other words, you, you take your legs, you cross your legs, your legs and yeah. your knees, you cross the knee over the oh, other. Oh, yes, yes, definitely. I, I uh, almost married one like that. Martha, you said yes, it can. I agree. It certainly, it certainly can. With a block. And Don, your turn. Secret Square Game. Doc Harrison, please. I would, I would have thought it would be Doc. That's who I thought this That shows you how much I know. Say, in our world of men's fashions, is seersucker in or out? Seersucker. Is seersucker in or out? Mm. Well, I don't know. I, frankly, I, I lean to the silks and the chiffons myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, uh, I think that seersucker is definitely a no-no. He said it's out. I'll agree. It's in again. <laughs> seersucker is in. We put a circle there. Interesting game going. Not Martha? by me, it's not. Uh, Amanda Blake, please. <laughs> that is it. Sacred Square. <laughs> Miss Kitty, I want you to listen carefully here. Uh, we have a special envelope. When Teddy Roosevelt was elected president in 1904, he ran as a Republican. But when he ran again in 1912 and lost, he was the nominee of a different party. Now, was it the Democratic Party, the Socialist Party, or the Bull Moose Party? <clears throat> Could you run through that again? Sure. When uh, he was a nominee uh, in 1912 and lost, was he the nominee of a different? He, uh, uh, was he a nominee of the Democratic Socialist or Bull Moose Party? A uh, Democratic Party. I disagree. What would you have said? Bull Moose. It is Bull Moose, Martha. Good for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, Martha Palmer, you have won the range, the dining room set, the carpeting, and that $1,000 gift certificate. And on our next game, incidentally, we'll have another secret square. So, back to the matter of money and Don Hogan. Joe, you best. Joe, every Russian longs to have his very own dacha. What is a dacha? D-A-C-H-A. -A. Happens to be a category I'm very familiar with. <laughs> In uh, Russia, the game of billiards has become very, very popular. Now you have a dacha ma, which is the regulation size table, which is four and a half by nine, and the dacha, which is three and a half by seven. It's a billiard table. Billiard table. I disagree. It's You're a country good boy. house. Good. <laughs> yeah, good. Have the we have a commercial word or two. We'll be right back. Martha, your turn. Call in, please. For $250. The Vatican recently lifted its ban on female visitors to St. Peter's who wear miniskirts, shorts, or see-through blouses. But there is one condition, Paul. What? I must swear they're all Protestant. <laughs> <laughs> they can get in that way. <laughs> Whistles. Uh, one... There's one condition. They're allowed now to wear miniskirts, shorts, or see-through blouses, but there is one condition. What? Their heads must be covered. Their heads must be covered. I agree. No. They must put on long robes before entering the church. And so we go uh, back here to Don. We can't put an X there. You'll have to earn that yourself. Back to you, Paul. Can an airline stewardess get pregnant and remain a stewardess? 
they're allowed to be married now, and I, I think they're allowed to be 60 years old, uh, pregnant. I know that they would not be allowed to fly while they're pregnant. Uh, I don't think they could be, no. He said no. I'll agree with that. It's yes. Regulations have been changed by the law. And so we go she back to Paul Lynn, Martha, a break for you. Let's see if it works. She Paul, listen fly. carefully. <laughs> When Laurie Lee Schaefer went through with it, she gave it to Terry Ann Mewson. What was it? Oh, Hugh O'Brien. When who did? When Laurie Lee Schaefer was through with it, she gave it to Terry Ann Mewson. What was it? Oh, her, her, uh, her skating crown. Her skating crown. I agree. No, her Miss America crown. That's our new Miss America from Wisconsin. Back to Paul Lynn, Don. All right. This is for our next $250. Hey, Paul, listen, you've got your own show. What do you need two for? What is this? See, according to Joan Crawford, the greatest beauty treatment is hard. What? Hard, hard. cider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. I stepped right on your line there, but... But according to Joan, uh, the greatest beauty treatment is hard, hard what? Hard. Uh, I would say uh, uh, there's no harder thing than exercise. Exercise. I'll try. I disagree. You try and you disagree. Good for you. <laughs> it's work. We can't, we can't say exercise. Work. Hard work with an exercise. $250. We're now going to clear the board, start round two, and uh, what do we have in our secret square here, sir? Well, X starts a secret square, which, well, we'll fly which to Hawaii well. for a week's stay for two at the Kahala Hilton Hotel. That's like an island within an island with a variety of restaurants, entertainment, and shops. The Kahala Hilton Hotel. And for evening formal wear, enjoy a complete tuxedo wardrobe, magnificent stylings and latest colors and fabrics, plus shirts, cufflinks, and ties from Delton, and a complete wardrobe of stylish shoes and boots by Keds Grasshoppers that will keep on the go all year round. Keds Grasshoppers that go everywhere footwear, plus a gift certificate from Pier 1 Imports, the uncommon store for uncommon people. Select items from 63 countries of the world, Pier 1 Imports, coast to coast, plus new 22-volume World Book Encyclopedia, including Research Guard. World Book <laughs> contains over 13,000 pages, 15 volumes Childcraft books, the How and Why Library, and to complete your library, a World Book Atlas and Dictionary, plus the Con Prelude Organ with a strummer and other exclusive features designed to make your home an instant music hall from Con. Let us show the home audience the secret square. I know that Don Hogan will start this round. To whom are you going now? Wally Cox. Mr. Cox, in a popular nursery rhyme, four and twenty blackbirds are baked in a pie. But when the pie was opened, the birds began to do something. What was it? Yes. Uh, first, let me point out that I disagree with everything that Kenny Williams just said. <laughs> uh, it, uh, he found, he found uh, a number of blackbirds, mm -hmm. two dozen to be exact. Well, 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 the birds began to do something when the pie was opened. What did they begin and to do? they sang. They sang. I'll agree. That is right. You have a good start with the next, and we have this commercial word or two. Before we continue in our, our audience this evening, a group of marvelous people, the West Point Society, we salute you, we thank you for being our audience this evening. You may applaud yourselves, the West Point Society. <laughs> Headed up by a dear friend of mine, Jerry Fogel, okay? Now, to Miss Circle, Martha Palmer. Harvey Corman, please. Harvey, touring, racing, and banana are three types. Types of what? Touring, racing, and bananas? Mm -hmm. Touring, racing, and banana are three types. Types of what? Ah, touring, racing, and bananas. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I would say they are uh, types of um, harness racing uh, horses. Horses, harness racing horses. I agree. No, they are bicycle seats. <laughs> what an X, uh, Don, your turn. <laughs> I'm going to go shopping. It's You're going to go shopping for that secret square. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Doc Severson. All righty. Right on. Johnny Carson jokes a lot, uh, Doc, about his early life in Nebraska. We all know that. But in what state was he really born, Johnny Carson? Well, I can't kid about that. He was really born in the state of Iowa, in Corning, Iowa. 
I'll agree. That's it. Very good. And you have the eggs. He's not going to kid about that. Martha? Joy Bishop, please. According, according to the popular song, If Ever I Would Leave You, if I wouldn't leave you in springtime, summer, winter, or fall, then when would I leave you? It's a song that was written in California, and it was written, uh, dedicated to the premise, I will leave you as soon as the cockamamie community property settlement is banished. <laughs> That's what, never at all. Never at the all. the rest of the lyric. I agree. If ever I should leave. That's it, yes. So you have the block, and Don? He's shopping around with that secret square. Sandra D. Nope. If you see a car license plate that says, the land of enchantment on it, where is it from? Smog-free Arizona. Arizona. I disagree. No, it's New Mexico. You take a left from Arizona. Smog-free, too. <laughs> Smog-free New Mexico. Martha? Hugh O'Brien, please. Hugh O'Brien, not the secret square for the block. According to a recent study at Cambridge University, who is more apt to cheat on his wife? The hard-working executive or one of his employees? Cheat on the executive's wife? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, just cheat in general uh, on his, his wife. The hard-working executive oh, uh, or one of his employees? Uh, it's a fact that the executives cheat much more than the uh, blue-collar worker or the average working man. I disagree. No, it is the executive. Yes, we can't put an X there. Now, I mean, Don, I'm we know that Hugh is know. not the secret I square. Am. It's either Karen, Paul, or Amanda. Are you still going shopping? Yep. Um, <laughs> Karen Valentine. That's it. <laughs> and that was it all the time, Don. Yeah, okay, $3,300 right here in this envelope. Listen That'll carefully, That'll teach love. you to go shopping, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but look what I came up with. <laughs> Say, Marlon Brando yes. and Charles Boyer, Charles Boyer, play the same famous historical character in two different films. Now, was it Julius Caesar, Alexander Hamilton, or Napoleon Bonaparte? Napoleon Bonaparte. I'll repeat it once more, Don. Marlon Brando and Charles Boyer play the same famous historical character in two different films. Was it Julius Caesar, Alexander Hamilton, or Napoleon Bonaparte? Uh, Karen said Napoleon Bonaparte. I'll agree. The films were Desiree and Conquest, and it was Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> so for Don Hogan and his lovely wife, ever been to Hawaii? No. <laughs> well, you're going. You have the Hawaiian vacation. The men's formal wear, the Delton, which I'm wearing, which is kind of colorful. What do you think? Uh, the footwear, the shopping spree, the books, the organ, and prizes worth over $3,300. And uh, incidentally, you have $500, and Martha, we have no cash for you, yes. But, but the person and the player with the most money won during the show gets a special bonus prize. Is that true, Mr. Williams? It is true. It's a brand new Vega sedan, the little car by Chevrolet that does everything well. A success last year, now with improvement. Chevy's Vega. If the show should end in the middle of a game, we add $50 to uh, each of our players' score which they have on the board, and uh, we'll play the game until we hear the buzzer. If one contestant has selected the star when the buzzer rings, then we will complete his or her turn. So it's the third game of the match. The board is cleared, and we'll start, I believe, with Martha Palmer. Okay. Joey Bishop, please. In which direction is a westerly wind blowing? In which direction is a westerly wind blowing? Mm -hmm. It is blowing in a westerly direction, because it is coming from the east. Martha? I agree. No, it's east. Winds are named by the direction from which they come. It's coming from the west to the east. So we have an X there. Don, a break for you. Wally Cox. Wally, do elephants ever have a problem with ingrown toenails? I could give them the right answer to you. You know, if people would watch me, they wouldn't have to wonder whether Seersucker were coming back or not. <laughs> Do, 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 do elephants wear seersucker? No, no, no. Do they have a problem with ingrown toenails, elephants? Ingrown toenails, they're famous for ingrown toenails. They can hardly walk, most of them. I disagree. Yes, and there is no animal meaner than an elephant with an ingrown toenail, <laughs> according to people who handle them with a circle and break for Martha Palmer here. Go right ahead, dear. Okay. Uh, Pick a star. Karen Val Valentine, please. Karen, you take... Oh. 
Let me explain what that is. That is our tacky buzzer. And that means that the show is over, but as the rules state, we uh, go to Karen Valentine to complete the question. So listen carefully. Karen, you take your thermometer out of your pet bird's beak and it reads 105 degrees. Is the bird running a temperature, yes or no? No, because their hearts beat faster and their, and their temperature is higher than ours. Martha? I agree. It is no. Birds have a normal temperature of 103 to 108. And Karen, what's happened to you? Well, <laughs> good living. Good living? You used to be our resident dummy, and now you've just been splendid this evening. We congratulate you. Incidentally, we congratulate Martha Palmer. Thank you. We have $100 in cash for you. Thank you. We have the secret square that right. you won in our first game, and lovely parting gifts. And did you enjoy your evening? Very much. Well, we enjoyed having you, you with, you with us much. on the Hollywood Squares. And Don, we add up your score. First of all, you won the secret square, and that's nice. We have $550 for you. You have the most cash. So we award you the Chevrolet Vega sedan. We congratulate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. Hugh, good to see you again, my friend. We'll be watching you on Search. Amanda Blake, Gunsmoke, Joey Bishop. He takes over The Tonight Show, which is uh, led in part by Doc Severinsen. And I love your colorful outfit. We'll be seeing you soon again on this show, hopefully, Doc. Thank Wally, you. Karen Valentine, Room 222, Harvey Corman. Carol Burnett Show, Sandra D. We loved you in, what is that thing with Karen? Joshua Cave? Josh, Daughters of Joshua Cave. Well, this is close enough. Paul in the Paul in Show, Peter Marshall, wishing you all a lovely week. Hope to see you here next week. Bye-bye, thank you. Contestants this week receive his parting gifts, a portable bar and supply of bartender's brand instant cocktail mix to make your drinks tasty for your home party. From bartender's brand instant cocktail mix and a certificate to Dairy Queen, let's all go to the Dairy Queen where the whole family can enjoy America's favorite Sunday's delicious shakes and other frozen treats, plus dolls, including High Dottie, Mattel's new talking doll for 72. She says 11 different things. High Dottie comes with two phones, new from Mattel, and what a party Hebrew National will give you. A selection of cold cut salami, hot dogs, and pastrami, all for good eating from Hebrew National. Squares promo, show N39, tape September 1272, air TBA. Which star is sitting in the secret square? You O'Brien, Amanda Blake, Joey Bishop, Doc Severinsen, Wally Cox, Karen Valentine, Harvey Corman, Sandra D, or Paul Lynn? Hello, I'm Peter Marshall. Watch for us on the nighttime version of The Hollywood Squares. <laughs>